Thank you so much for joining us again for our daily devotion. I hope that um, you are finding that as you make time for God each day, it is changing your life and it is changing your relationship with him and, and kind of um, how you go about your day differently. So today is um, Thursday, September 17th, um, and the title of today's devotion is called Control Equals Peace. The scripture comes from Psalm 37, verse 5. Depend on the Lord, trust him, and he will take care of you. Plan, plot, scheme. That is the way this world does things. It's all about control. Control your time, control your money, control the people and events around you, control your life, control equal, equals peace. But the thing is, you can never be in complete control. Just when you think you've prepared for every possibility, something unexpected pops up and ruins all of your plans. Your parents may say no to something that you want, the weather may cancel your game that you're excited about, or sickness may stop you from getting out of bed. Control does not, does, I'm sorry, control does equal peace, but only when it's my control. Bring me all your needs, your hopes, your fears, and leave them in my care. Depend on me to do the planning, and I will give you my peace. So, one thing we talked about control actually a few weeks ago at church and i love replacing that word control with in charge so if you think about god being in charge of your peace or god being in charge of your love god being in charge of your grace it really changes the way that you think about that word i know um i think we probably all are are some way, shape, or form struggling with the idea that we are not in charge of everything all the time, or we are not in control of everything that is happening. Well, sure, we certainly are in charge of some things in our lives, right? But just like our devotion said that sometimes unexpected things pop up. And I think that we're all learning that in the world that we live in, there are unexpected things that other people do in our lives that impact us personally. But when you think about the fact that God is in control of our peace, that God is the one that can give that to us, that is what settles my mind and makes it so that I'm not so anxious anymore. I think that is something today in particular that we need to ask God for. We need to ask God for peace. Let us pray. Loving God, thank you. Thank you for giving us yet another day where we wake up in the morning and we rest in your peace. God, we know that things are unpredictable and things happen in this world and things happen in our community and things happen in our day whether it be our school day or our work day or just a day. But God, don't let us get so caught up in controlling everything. Don't let us get so caught up in, in feeling like if, if we don't have control, then we're failing. God, help us to rest in your peace. Help us to remember to ask for your peace over and over and over again. God, we love you so very much. And we say all these things in your son's name. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I can't wait to see what God is going to speak to us tomorrow.